YouTube? This is the man 743 Welcome coming back again with another video. And today I want to talk about the Xfinity TV Go app. Now this application is available on a quite a few different devices. You can get it on um, Android phones, Android tablets, Android uh, TVs, Android set-top boxes. You can get it on Fire TV and Fire TV Stick. Um, for iOS devices, you can get it on iPhone, iPad, iPad Pro, iPad Mini, iPod Touches, and you can also get it on Apple TV. You can also get it on a PC, and you can also get it on a Mac. Okay? Now, with that said, um, if you guys are going to use it on a mobile device... Please be very, very careful and watch your data usages as you stream live cable TV and as you stream TV shows and movies because it will eat up a lot of your 4G and 3G data. So you always want to be able to use this on a hotspot area. They got lots of hotspots everywhere, guys. Um, McDonald's, Starbucks. Uh, the library, um, your city bus should have it, uh, trains, airplanes, hotspots are everywhere, guys. So you definitely want to be on a hotspot when you're watching Xfinity TV Go, okay? Now, if you choose to use your mobile data, then I just want to warn you that you will burn through that very quickly uh, watching programming from that, okay? Just want to let you know that. Now, um, I have it on my Fire TV. I also have it on my Android phone. They work very, very well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go into the application. All right. Go to live. Here are some of the live channels here that I get. Now the one with the keys on them or channels that I can't get. I have to subscribe to those channels. But um, let's go ahead and do USA. Alright, so as you see, USA loaded right up. Everything's good. Um, I've been running this for at least six, seven hours yesterday, guys. No buffing. Runs very, very smoothly. Um, let me focus that back in. I'm sorry, guys. I just bumped that too. Alright. So just hit the back button and let's say I want to go to A&E. Mm -hmm. something else here let's 
do animal planet All right, so those are some of the live cable channels. If I go back up and we can go to the movies here. There are your movies. You can do it by popular, do it by year or A through Z. You can also search. So um, I can pretty much just click on any one of these and just start watching it. So let's go ahead, click on this one. Hit the back button, and then again. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these movies, but just showing you guys. Let's go ahead and do Scarface. Showing you guys that it do work, and it's the same way on the go. If you're out and about, you can do the same exact thing on your smartphone. This is why this is going to be the widescreen version. Crank this up a little bit for you guys so you can hear. Not gonna go through the whole thing, but you guys get the idea. Uh, so that was movies. Um, TV series. So here's all the TV shows, guys. So let's say I wanted to catch up on some Gotham. Now I can catch up on some Gotham.
It'll just load right on up. Go ahead and grab one more. Um, all right, let's just do. My cat from hell. Now, a lot of these do have commercials in them, which is perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that because a lot of the stuff I watch have commercials in it. Especially when you're looking at live cable TV, which this is what this offers you. Um, you're going to get commercials for this live or TV show. You're going to always get commercials because that's how they make their money. You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't mind the commercials and things like that, then I think this is pretty cool. Alright, so that's pretty much it guys I think I went over everything TV shows movies live TV um family So you got all of your family shows here, family and kids stuff. See, some of them have commercials and some don't like this one. It just went straight to it. Not 
going to really go through a lot of these guys, which I get the point. You know, you've got uh, family and kids. All right, let's go. Let's go on the networks. Let me scroll down. Um, let's say you wanted to know what all programming or TV shows that was on A&E. Go on into networks, click on A&E, and it's going to show you all the shows that are available on the A&E network. So that way you ain't, you don't have to go on the TV shows and have to scroll down a million sections to find what particular show you're looking for on that particular channel. You can just go to networks and just scroll through and then you'll find what you're looking for. Like for instance, 60 days in. You have the, um, this show here, the first season. So if I wanted to Check these out. And I wanted to start all the way from the first one. I can do that. It's actually, I've never even seen this before. So I'm definitely going to be watching this later. Once I get done um, editing and processing this video. So it always starts off with the advertisement first. that but that's pretty much how that works guys um any one of these channels or is this specific program that you watch again um all you have to do is let's go ahead and go into uh, the amc Okay, we got The Walking Dead here. Let's say you want to watch season five of The Walking Dead. First episode. You can start watching that. So that's pretty much that, guys, um, as far as networks. Again, just click on any network. It will show you all the TV shows that's on that network. You just select what you want from that network as far as the TV shows go. And it will let you go from the first episode of that season to the current one. Um, we're going to go ahead see what else we got here um you can also download content which i don't have any content to download but if you choose to you can do that as well shows you how to do that um you got your history 
So these are just some of the things that I've watched. So if you can't remember what you watch, you can easily go on the history. Uh, you can bookmark things, which I haven't bookmarked anything. And you can go into settings. And you can play around with the settings in here. That's about it. All right, guys. So that was pretty much it on Xfinity TV Go. Um, if you want to get this application, again, you can download it from the App Store on iOS. You can download it uh, for the iPhone, the iPad, the iPad Mini, the um, iPad Pro, the iPod Touch, and Apple TV. Okay, you can also download it for all Android devices. You can get it for the Android phone, the Android tablet, the Android set top box. Android TV. A lot of you guys don't know, but Android does make TVs. Um, and you can get it for the Fire Stick and the Fire TV like I have here. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about Xfinity TV Go. Um, and like I said before, guys, there's going to be more videos coming this week. Stay tuned, subscribe, and you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.